just 20 examples of the Reventon went on sale, with the 21st being built for display at Lamborghini's museum. Costing $1,350,000 and looking more like a stealth fighter, this is the ultimate weapon in destroying motoring preconceptions. To ensure the Reventon was at least as fast as the LP640, its engine has been tuned to develop even more power. All-wheel drive and low-profile 245 front and 335 rear Pirellis help keep this wannabe aircraft agile on the ground. Looking at the car, you can still see traces of the Murcielago underneath all the aggressive, angular panels. The front is now dominated by two large air intakes that help cool the brakes. The angular nose is mimicked in the now obligatory transparent engine cover and the rear spoiler. What's up, guys? Me Clip here driving the... Lamborghini Revento! Yes, the Revento is so freaking amazingly nice looking. It's not the fastest, but it's a beautiful car to look at. I love to look at this car, and it's just so nice. It's so sleek. It looks like it's going to take off. You know what I mean? But um, <laughs> I want to talk about Need for Speed The Run, and they released the Porsche 911 Carrera S. That trailer for that car looks so nice. It's just one of those cars that look like it's going to be a key feature, a key car in the game in the sense that first to get it is the first to the finish line, you know what I mean? And the only way you can get it, it says, is through pre-ordering the game, which who wouldn't pre-order the game with all the stuff they're giving you? So now you get the Porsche 911 Carrera S, the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, and the Lamborghini Aventador. So those three cars are going to be the fastest cars or the meanest cars to drive and it's probably going to be one of those cars that is hard to beat if someone else is driving it and they know how to drive it efficiently. Also they explain what they mean by underground edition and the most wanted edition of the game where you get three events for both the, and you get two cars which are two bonus cars added on to the collection of cards you get by buying the game slash pre-ordering the game. So the bonus cards you get for Most Wanted Edition is Most Wanted Edition BMW M3 GTS and the Ford Mustang Boss 302 which I looked at them and they are so nice. They look so fast too. They just have the nice decals on the side and all of that nice stuff. Also for the Underground Edition, you get the Nissan 370V and the Nissan Skyline GTR. Yes, everyone was like, I want the Nissan Skyline back. Nissan Skyline. And now they're bringing it back. So depending on where you pre-order, you will get either the Most Wanted or the Underground, those two bonus cars plus the original cars that came with the game and since you're pre-ordering you get the freaking Porsche Carrera, the Camaro and the Lamborghini it is going to be a lot of stuff so I advise you to pre-order this game and I'll keep you up to date with all of the information every few weeks on Clip9040 comment, rate, subscribe, tell a friend and peace out